Welcome, welcome back on any help at C Square. In this example, we're going to plot three points in given in polar coordinates. What you see here, we call polar coordinates, and all three are in polar coordinates. If you have a grid like this, that will be helpful. If you don't, you just need to do kind of an approximation of what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see how we do that on a polar coordinate. If you notice, and I put here uh, some uh, stuff about polar coordinate system. This is the pole. Um, right, that ray is the polar axis, and that's pretty much what you need on your paper. You don't really need all that stuff we have. But because I have this, uh, and uh, we can uh, use a little bit of common sense, this will be 30 degree or pi over 6, 60 degree, 90, and so on, right? 120, 150, okay. So, so that might help us to do this uh, plotting. And look into this guy, that guy means 3, and some of you, probably most of you, will tend to change that in degrees, which is fine. 4 pi over 3 is 240 degrees, right? If you like the pi, the radians, that's fine. So how am I going to plot, plot that point? I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to rotate 240. 40 degrees. So this is 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, obviously. Uh, 210, 240. This is the terminal side of that angle that is 240, right? And I need to find uh, the position that shows me this R of 3, which is 1, 2, 3, right here. That's the point. So first of all, do the angle, then uh, measure the distance from the pole to your point using the grid. If you have a grid, if you don't, do an approximation. And that's it. What about the second one? The second one means negative 1 and 2 pi over 5, that is 72 degrees. So how are we going to do this? Okay, so again, we're going to start from, from this polar axis and you're going to rotate 72 degrees, 30, 60, it should be somewhere here. But that one is negative 1, right? So basically, after you draw this, this line, right, you want to move the opposite direction, which is going to be right here. This is the point. So be careful of this negative. You have to move on the opposite side of your terminal side of your angle of 72 degree. Okay? So that is a big difference uh, than the first point. And let's go to the last one. Okay, and on this one again you notice is a is a very interesting angle. You can also play with this one and add an uh, 28 pi over 7 and you end up with negative pi over 7 I guess you can do that which it means negative 3 and um, negative 25 degree kind of so let's see how we do this gentlemen I should have leave that there. Okay, so in this moment again, this is the polar axis, the pole, and you have to move these negative 25 degrees angles. So that will be some something like this. Right? And this is the positive direction, right? Of the terminal side of the angle of 20, negative 25 degrees. And this one is negative 3, so I'm going to have to move somewhere uh, right here, right? 1, 2, right here. This will be the point, the last point, okay? So be careful of these uh, negative values in your uh, polar coordinates. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Score for more help. Thank you.